Hi, Edgar. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Jeremy. How is going everything in there? Good, good. Everything's going good. good. It's cold good. here in Canada. Yes, here is too hot. It's about 30, 32 grades. It's too hot. Wow. All the whole year <laughs> here is summer. Summer all year is really, really hard. It's fine. It's just a, case, uh, a question of custom. We live here in with hot all time. The humidity is oof, terrible. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I, I prefer the cold to the heat. Yes, me too. Uh, here in Colombia, we have no stations. But if you want cold, you can go to the south, to Pasto City, it's very cold. Or go to Bogota, city is cold. So you need to go hot in near to the Atlantic Ocean, go to Barranquilla and hot and go to the Pacific. It's just, we have dif different cities with different weathers all year. It is a bit strange because mostly country have um, stations, four stations. Yeah. Um, so let's get into this. Let's get a little bit of uh, delay here because of technical difficulties. So I apologize to the audience about that. I apologize to you about that too, Edgar. Um, Kerval, you are a presenter at the upcoming Flambeau Noir, the International Left Hand Path Conference of 2017, coming up this April 28th to the 30th in Ottawa, Canada. So you're going to get a chance to come here, escape the here for a little bit. Yes, yes. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks so much for the invitation. And I am really excited about this opportunity to be there because it's always of my, my interest that people could know more about my work especially when, when working with a part of, of the traditions here in South America. For example, uh, I will speak about the magical use of tobacco and how people can adapt this to the left hand path sorcery. So I will, um, will do a kind of lecture, a discussion about an, the anthropological, the spiritual and the multicultural side of tobacco and how people can use it as as a offering to the spirits and using it as a kind of connection within the fetish and stuff related to the, to the magic you can give them the power of the of the tobacco into the fetish creating a kind of a nexus between the deity and the the added the tobacco acts like a, a bridge between both of them, the, the nice side and, and this existential plan and get connected. This is really, I so like we'll speak more there about the medical use of tobacco and how you can develop this through the cool of the death, the necromancy and, and bodu working with, with tobacco is mostly what I am working for some time ago. I will explore more this part. Oh wow, that's very interesting. Well, that's definitely one that I'm going to want to catch for sure. Um, my own tr uh, tradition that I you know, grew up partially with is the Ojibwe tradition from the uh, native people of Canada. That's a uh, tribe that I belong to is Ojibwe. And I know that um, when we get teachings from one of the elders, one of the traditional things is for us to present tobacco. Yes. And uh, that is one of the four main medicines that uh, are considered in, in a lot of the um, a lot of the North American Native American cultures. Um, so I, I find that very interesting that, that connection there. Yes, it's really important. People have the idea that tobacco must be just smoking, but there are so many different ways you can use it. One can be through a drinking tea. Another one can be to put it like a kind of incense. Other can be annoying in your flesh. And there is some blowing into the fetish as I working. <coughs> Sorry, I've been with cow last day, so <coughs> don't feel much better. 
Thanks. Sí, yes, yes. This is my old idea, the idea of the nature, the tobacco. Very cool. Very cool. So, what so, other projects do you have going on right now? Particularly, what's in your writing right now? And right now, I am working in a powerful grimoire with S. Ben Quajin, working on it and dedicated to the deity Arab Sarak. Uh, mostly is related to the connection Arab Sarat, the cliff Arab Sarat with the, the <clears throat> sorry, what I am, <coughs> sorry, I have been with the flu and I have been working exploring it with the currents of death, how the Arab Sarat is highly connected with the cults of the dead and necromancy here, and how you can apply it to the current of the cliff out how the kind of uh, exploration between wood currents and the wood will be finished within this months and will be all 18 in, in June, more or less, will be will be out. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And uh, is that the only book you have on the go right now? Is that the only book you have on the go right now? Now, right now, also working on a grimoire called Clifford Opus 6. That is a kind of anthology grimoire dedicated to diverse um, kind of paths into the sorcery with the uh, poetry, essays, art, uh, rituals, most involved, but you no know, occultists around around the globe, more or less. It's, it's a very known grimoire that people know about. Okay, excellent. Uh, excellent. Hi there. Another, another project is coming in Salve Honoris Morte. The second volume, the second volume it contains uh, the work with with Legba. In exploring this, to working in the uh, Lady of the Cemeteries, and it's still related only to the current of death. I am working on it related with the Aztec schools of, of the dead and necromancy, and related to from here from South America. And their gods, they dedicate only to the to the cool of the dead. This is the second volume coming. I think in August, maybe in August, we'll be out. Cool. And I know that a lot of times, a lot of times, do do work in different mediums. So you also you have a project called Emaya. Yes, Emaya is one of my music representations, which I try to to explore it like a kind of sigil, sonic sigil music when I call it. It's more to to, talk to 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 create a kind of deep awakening in the subconscious of person who listen to music. People who listen to music is like uh, the goal is that people enter into trance when listening to music. It can open the path to working in the process of illumination and and that kind of of, of initiative process. This is is why I, always my books with comes with a with a CD of ritual music I create by myself in order that people get connected with the music, the book, and talismans to create something in conjunction. It's really very, very, very powerful. I have another project called uh, The Red Path that is mostly related to the Glyphotic music. In fact, I worked with uh, Michael Ford in, with MHI and one of his projects in Akitia. We did a explicitly really excellent work. I just hope uh, to bring some copies to to do there in Canada. More or less, uh, they are the two projects I'm working mostly over there right now. Yeah, that would be excellent yeah, to have a season to have a friend. That would be very cool. I'd like to come along those lines. Yes, really. It's, it's, it's really it's hard to, to, to create a live performance because I play uh, the shamanic drums, flutes, and some songwares, and to, to put all this on Lewis, I will need three or more persons. <clears throat> Here, Rick, my partner, helps me so much with, with some stuff, but there will be so hard. But I think in next year, I will try to develop some kind of uh, ritual performance over the, the world, maybe in Germany, Poland, and uh, USA. The idea is to the next year, Prepare this year to study to do something great this year. Very cool. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. 
So how did you come to all of this? How did it all begin for you? How did it all begin for you? I was in the magical path since my childhood. I live in a suburb out of the city, mostly it's near to the mountains. It's about a region near the mountains. It's mostly I live in a solitary way in a all ancient house. I like to live here because I try to connect myself with my ancestor, with the, the power of the nature, with the dark side of, of this place in which we live. Because here, in Abyss, by a powerful warrior culture, guy, the, the Kalimas. The Kalimas were a very, very strong culture here that work within the, the currents or the, the water. They, they have the, the young war, like the spirit of the war, like a strong. And I, I grow almost in an isolated stage to explore, to read, uh, to explore my, my own spiritual path. Um, my life has two chapters before uh, the modern Gnostic workbook and after the Gnostic workbook. I just uh, used to work with the material from Alistair Crowley, mostly reading Libra Pyramidos, working with books, uh, Holy Text, Telema, Order of the Nine Angles, working with the rituals of the sinister tradition and stuff, Satanims. Not mostly into the Lavellian stuff, but I just read some of the philosophy. I found some interesting elements there. But when I get um, the Bodum Gnostic World Book, I start to working with a, a kind of a spirit or loas for the Buddha Pantheon. And really, my life increased, changing a definitely 70, 80% way. I start to gain a kind of perception. I learned to see with the, the mental light, to learn to see beyond what reality offers to me. Learn, learn to see with the mental light, to see beyond, beyond, beyond the stuff and learn to, to work more into intuition, shikis abilities like a oracular, natural, more legs, and I start to explore more this and comes the projects, my books, reading so much, exploring music, painting, doing sculpture, fetish, uh, talisman. It's really a, a crazy thing. I because very, very, very creative, creative, and the fact that I am, I am very anxious person. And drinking coffee, you imagine all day uh, working, doing music, doing something, sleeping few hours, and working all the time and. This is good. It's, it's what I like. I like so much um, occult things, music, all the time. I used to be here in my dungeon, as I call this, all house and working and doing something because it's my life. The, 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 the most important idea in this plane is to, to do what you will and to be happy. And see, I am happy working with, the, with magic all the time. Plus, I will do this. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. You know, the thing about it is that it's such a well spring of creativity and inspiration. Inspiration. Yes, it's, it's really inspiration. Is something I like always to to work and to express my humble work to people, and some people find very uh, interesting. The most important with my material, CDs or books, is that. Are practical and when people work the rituals including the book say hey wow they were really strong this is the the, the, the best point because you just do a book they just um, philosophy or something people but the, 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 the my books is more for for advanced people that have a, a certain knowledge about magic about his methods of working hypnosis and through to it, people will go into the rituals. And uh, what kind of local activity do you participate in? Participate in. Uh, like you, uh, you, you run, you run events in your area. Events in your area. Um, ah, you mean uh, here in Colombia, magical groups? Yeah. Yes. Uh, right now, right now, I'm working helping uh, Michael and you with uh, the Church of Lucifer here. I have a small collective, but, but very good. Also working with a free in Bogota, 
he's a Rosa Ludovson. He's a very, very strong magician. He's mostly into the shamanic uh, Nordic tradition. He used to work with Aons, uh, the Order of the Black Sun in, in England, but he is now doing something here in, in South America, and I'm just working with him. Um, the rest uh, mostly with the uh, Dragon Roche and with the Temple of the Ascending Flame too. It's more or less that uh, the groups I I most in the the process because I always always try to to work to work more in an individual basis. Mostly alone, try to explore my own path. But will be great to to help others at least to to walk a path. Because the magic is an individual, individual process. But perhaps you can give someone a clubs or or share ideas of how people can can go to the inner point to rise and determine spiritual path into the magic. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I agree with that whole way of thinking. Uh, part of the whole reason that uh, you know, I wanted to have these international left hand pad conference is to get people together within the left hand path and even from you know what might be considered right hand path are interested in the same uh, topics and and have common interests to get together and to you know share knowledge and collaborate on projects just to get people together you know yes I think the the main idea with the consortium is that people understand that we are a great brotherhood. People, some people think that perhaps not, but I think that all of us are are in a way we are connect each other like a beef uh, web. We are connected and we can be explored together. So many paths. We have no egos and nothing. Just try to collaborate with each other. Put some stuff, listen, learn, explore it. This is the 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 main idea to create a very strong brotherhood. Yeah, I agree. Any other thing too is I find yeah, that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that yes. Yeah, I find that. Yeah, I find that. It's a little bit of a delay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a delay. <laughs> <laughs> running into each other. Continue. Sorry. So um, what I find that I think it's interesting how sometimes you'll see people, you know, uh, arguing a little and debating a little, you know, hotly <laughs> uh, online. But then when you get them in the same room together, you know, it, it's like they're friends. So it's pretty interesting. <laughs> those, those barriers, those those little differences that we have between the different traditions, they seem to break down most of the time when you're in the presence of one another and, and understand we have more in common than we do uh, different. <laughs> yes, the, the main idea is to, to try to be humble, to, to share with others, to don't have a, don't have problems with ego problems and I uh, believe but so many people think that uh, because you are a um, magician or something you would be a uh, bad mood and something is just I think it's stupid because each one of us have different paths but we working together in something it's really great to, to share for example with Thomas Carson he's really an excellent person I met him in, in Atlanta last year and he really a very good person very humble honest person, I, I like someone that, that kind of, of person like him, really. Yeah, well, he's uh, so going to be presenting at Flambeau Noir as well, so, so uh, you yeah. know, it's going to be a great event, and I invite everybody who is listening to this to go ahead and uh, uh, probably pick up tickets as quick as possible because the crowdfunding campaign is ending soon, and we'll be moving on to the new phase of ticket sales. Uh, but uh, it's only going to be increasing as we get closer to the day, get closer to the day. Yes. But the main idea is to, to, share, to go there, to share the ideas, the opinions. Maybe uh, perhaps for, for another consortium, it will be great to do in a kind of a forest, in a forest or something. It will be great to do something with music. It will be, will be great. It will be great to do. There is so many 
uh, good ideas and good points to to keep on exploring the consortiums doing each year with with different persons something that can apport something to the the esoteric or magical community this is the more important yeah i think yeah. it's it's I definitely it's uh, the important thing, thing that's happening, that's happening that's here that's in our government definitely Okay, well, uh, yeah, with that said, that uh, can you give, uh, us, can you give us, us how we can keep in touch with you and keep in touch with you and what project you're doing? People involved in, in my projects uh, about music or about uh, books? Yeah, like do you have a website, yeah, like you have a website um, um, Twitter uh, account? Ah, or, yes. Um, yeah, yes, people can check the uh, Sirius Limited Esoterica. There is a, a link with my for my books, and uh, or you can Google M A if you can search mostly on my stuff there. There's also a record label called uh, Noctipagan Records from from USA who has mostly all my my music, my works, and called Spring Records from from England. So there is you can Google it. You can see the mostly material, books, everything there. Okay, excellent. Uh, and I'll put the links in the video description afterwards. So, you know, if anybody wants to follow up on that, they can just check back later when the, the description's been updated. I'll have those links in there. Ah, yes, yes, sure. No problem. Whatever, always is a pleasure to be here. And I am mostly the uh, honor to be on the flamen noir because my my French is not the best but I just try <laughs> you did great <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm so really looking forward to looking forward to with Flambeau Noir Flambeau and Noir. thank you so and much for taking the time to do this video with me and have a great rest of your evening have a great rest of your evening oh, the, the same for you have uh, the best for you and um, everybody that is watching this and uh, come on to the to the Flamen Noir Consortium, we will share a very, very good days there. Um, come on, there is a very good uh, presenters like Craig Williams, uh, Thomas Carson, Don Webb, uh, Jeremy Crow, Justin, Ellen. No, there is a lot of people that you have to learn something there. And also, attenders and um, books like uh, Anathema Publishings, too. Shiny Oil out to them. There is a really excellent. This, this this will be one of the best consortiums, definitely. Yeah, well, yeah, well uh, again, thanks uh, for being yeah, here. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon, brother. Talk to you soon, brother. Okay, sorry for my for my co coke food. Uh, oh, uh, don't worry about uh, it. For the for the interest of. Bye, see you. Good night. Good night. Good night.